Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Imran bin Haidun Nizam and today I want to present the materials used in badminton. So next we move to the requirement structure for the uh, racket. So basically there are five uh, structure for the normal racket. The first one is strange area. The strange area should be flat and the patterns of cross things should be alternatively interfaced where they cross, they cross with each other. Uh, next head, the, the shape of the head is generally oval. However, there is also another shape called the isometric head, which means that the rock, rock racket is broader at the top. Uh, throat, this is the part of the racket which supports the head by providing a steady base and connects the head to the shaft. Next, the shaft itself. The shaft is the part of the racket which links the handle to the head. Uh, so lastly, the handle, the bottom mass part must part of the racket gripped by the player. The handle is arguably the most important cock. Okay, next we move to the material suggestions for the badminton racket. Uh, so for the strange area, the first one is uh, nylon, which is cheap to produce and it is very resistant. Uh, next, cups. Uh, secondly, cups take carbon nanotube. Uh, which is greater in dura durability and high repulsion power. So the third one for the strange area materials is natural guide. It stretches and returns to its original form better than synthetic uh, strings. Uh, so uh, for the head and throat, the first one is gra graphite. Uh, it is lightweight, helping trace and hit fast moving shuttlecocks. Uh, the second one is aluminium, which is lightweight and cheap. And the third one is carbon fiber, which is lightweight, uh, corrosion resistance, and long lasting, but it is uh, a bit expensive. Uh, so for the material for the shaft, the first one is titanium. Uh, titanium is higher in repulsion power and produce clear, strong sound. Uh, the second one is black micro core, which is stiff high density uh, vib vibration and dampening material so the last one is for the handle materials the first one uh, material is wood which is commonly used and over this uh, is better in shock or vibration absorption uh, and the second one the, for the mat uh, handle material is plastics which is we know that plastic is cheap so we move to the justification for the selected material. As we know that badminton has been widely played in the world. Many major competitions held and joined by many professional players. So the materials used for the racket is very important in order to give massive effectiveness and advantages to the players. For the strange area, material that I chose is nylon because the synthetic material is cheap to produce but strong and long lasting. Thicker nylon strings give control and durability but sacrifice power. Uh, thinner synthetic strings provide power to a player's shot but are prone to wear, uh, tear and breaking. For head, throat and shaft which are basically a frame, I choose aluminium because it provides a greater elasticity. Aluminium has a lightweight feature which makes the metal suitable for a badminton racket. It also can exert more power on the shuttlecock. This is one of the reasons why most of the players opt for it. And lastly, material used for the handle is wood because it has been used by the majority of the players uh, indicates. Uh, wood absorbs shock or vibration far better than the other materials. Okay, next material forecast in future. One of the materials that will be vastly used in the future sport equipment is carbon fiber composite. One of the main reasons for the use of composite is in sporting goods is their low weight. For instance, carbon fiber is at least four times lighter compared to steel. It's also much lighter than aluminium. Since many sports are outdoor based, there are need for corrosion resistant equipment and carbon fiber uh, plays very well in this part. Although carbon fiber is a bit more expensive, but nowadays sport level willing to pay for higher uh, performance and long lasting gear. Secondly, graphene composite. Graphene's lightweight, outstanding durability and resilience make it ideal for adding strength without adding bulk or sacrificing comfort. This is ideal for footwear and protective gear designs, especially athletic clothing production. Thanks for the less uh, complex method to produce graphite, the composite is much cheaper nowadays. So that's all from me. Thank you.